a Honduran boy drowned after he attempted to cross a river dividing Mexico and the United States. Mexican immigration officials 8-year-old Anderson Gabriel Ramirez, according to the National Immigration Institute, had remained behind on an island located between the two nations after his parents and his sister made it to the Rio Grande's Texas shoreline when Ramirez was in the company of a group of adults, but was not able to withstand the pounding water, which covered him and kept him submerged for the boy's father, Alex Ramirez told Univision that he placed his daughter on the river's shore and attempted to go back for his son, but by then he had already been swept by the freezing rivers. The Honduran family was part of a group of migrants who were attempting to cross the river in the Mexican town of Piedras Negras, across the border from Eagle. Mexican immigration agents also rescued a pregnant woman, a five-year-old girl and an adult male, all migrants, who waiting on another island as part of their attempts at migrating illegally to the United States. Share this article share National Immigration Institute agents deployed on a boat were able to recover Anderson Gabriel Ramirez's body, but attempts to revive him for the boy's parents and sister were apprehended by the U.S. Customs and Border Protection agents and returned to Mexico via the Eagle Pass International Border Bridge to identify Mexico's immigration agency also announced the death of a Venezuelan woman who died trying to cross the river there when Ramirez's tragic death certainly brought back memories of Salvadoran migrant Oscar Martinez, 25, who drowned in the Rio Grande with his nearly two-year-old daughter, Angie Valeria Martinez. In June 20, the Martinez family had reached the Texas shoreline when the father sat his child on the sand so that he could return to the Mexican side of the river to help his wife, Tanya Vanessa Avalos. As however, the girl stepped into the river to follow her dad and was swept by the Rio Grande's current. Oscar Martinez jumped in to rescue her, but was overpowered by the rushing. The flow of migrants to the U.S. border has increased after dropping sharply due in part to pandemic-related border restrictions for much of the CBP has reported an increase of enforcement encounters, incidents where migrants are apprehended, removed and considered inadmissible. For nine cons the Federal Immigration Agency registered 78,323 enforcement encounters during the month of January, the second highest total since the agency reported 81,777 encounters in July 2019 under the administration of former President Donald Trump. Migrants' hopes have also been buoyed by the new administration of U.S. President Joe Biden despite his plans to admit asylum seekers who were blocked by Trump's remain in Mexico. Drownings are just one of the dangers faced by migrants, who have been asked by the Biden administration to consider holding off on presenting themselves at the southwestern border to seek asylum despite ongoing plans to admit asylum seekers beginning Friday at two border entry points in Texas and another in California. In late January, 19 bodies were found shot and burned in a vehicle near the town of Camargo, also across the border from Te the town Aulipas State Prosecutor's Office said late Wednesday in a statement that authorities had identified 16 of them as Guatemalan migrants from the town of Comet in Silo. They had previously arrested and charged a dozen Tamaulipas State Police officers in connection with